Hello, I am standing in front of my TV holding my phone because I can't find a proper stand anywhere. This gotta do. So I'm very close up. I apologize. If you are someone who are into Xianxia Wuxia, which is like a Chinese version of the fantasy novel genre, I definitely want to recommend this author, which I will refer to her as Mi Ban. Her full name is I think Ro Bao Bu Shi which stands for the Mi Ban doesn't eat meat, so vegetarian Mi Ban. But I will refer to her as Mi Ban from now on. All of her works are extremely angsty. So far, we only know three published works from this author. There could be hidden gems out there that nobody knows under different pseudo names, but those are only three that we officially know is from her. My favorite or most recently read is I would like to call it the remnants. Essentially, it's a lot about nationalism, patriarchy, what it means to sacrifice for your people. So it's a lot more just than, than just a romance. As usual, it is multi-plots, it has lots of plots, extremely complex world building. There is scheming and fighting, the traditional type of ways of, I don't know, going to a war, but there's also elements of magic, dark magic, like so much like morality, what people would do to people, to individuals who have a slavery background. So there's definitely slaves and what it means to sit on the high throne of a king, what he displays to the public, what um, he actually thinks of them behind the back. And there's lots of scheming, the struggle of a balance of power and your birthright and humanity and what it means to be a human lots of elements that are i think is so much more and so not as often talked about in novels which i love so it's you know there's your beloved angsty romance line between the two main characters which i love because at one point there's so much belief and reliance upon each other between the two of them but there's also misunderstanding because one has to, what one has to do for the country. So I personally absolutely loved that work. However, it did take me twice to get into it. The first time I read it, I didn't love it. I couldn't, I had a hard time sort of get into it. So it's definitely something you have to be in the right mind space, like pet space to read. It takes a bit of, you know, patience and understanding that world, understanding what's going on, and see if that's like a good match of what you like to read. So that's one book that I have been obsessed with written by this author. And my first one sort of introduced by her is um, The Husky, which is I think the more popular one. So if you already know, you can skip past this one. But again, very angsty. It's I won't say it's more fantasy than Remnants. There's definitely more, um, I don't even know if it's Xianxia, but it's like a lot of magic and fantasy and there's actually like a very intricate links between the remnants and the husky that people have argued about which i will let you to let you guys to figure it out but there's definitely something linking the two worlds there's like i think supposed to be centuries apart if you were to pay attention to the common last name you might be able to figure out there could be some sort of connection between the two worlds uh, so husky is it's multi-timeline. There's time traveling in there of opening up past time space. There are common elements of the forbidden sort of power and forbidden, forbidden magic. So I guess kind of like dark magic that's common between the remnants and the husky, which again, a lot of betrayals, darker side of people who seem the most innocent and seem the most righteous, but turns out to not be the case. There's definitely a lot of those kind of cliffhangers. I just want to point out that some people find uh, a lot of those stories a bit too long, are too much going on, too many characters, too many plots. Um, you have to keep in mind that those are published online. So in order to get readers engaged, they the authors actually do put in the effort to make it more complex. So more and more readers could hop in and join this kind of complex world and get sucked into it. So it's not, you know, your typical published hard copy book. Those authors publish a chapter every couple of days or every day or every other day, and then they want to keep it rolling. So it's very much like Pure Little Liars, and you have one episode published, one season published, and they just keep going. So it's kind of a similar concept in that sense. And the last one, I think it's called Bing An Ben, which is like medical record, something like that, which I don't love it as much. Um, one common theme from this author is, is always the younger one that's the stronger and more dominant. 
and the older, sometimes like more than 10 years older, is the less dominant, who seem less interested, they act like they're indifferent, which but they're bottling so much emotions and feelings for the other party inside. So that's a very common theme. Um, I don't want to say it's like miscommunication, but there's not enough communication for sure being one of the reasons behind all of this angst. So with the medical records, there's a lot of sort of mental illness in that chapter, in that book. Um, I don't actually remember too much. It kind of just like, I flew through it, enjoyed it while it was going on, but there's definitely a bit more power play in that. Um, the, the, the top, the younger boy who is, has some sort of mental illness and the other one is his, used to be his doctor. And there's a lot of sort of capitalism intertwined in this book. I don't want to give too much away, but it's more of a modern play. It's, there's not, I don't remember it being any sort of imagined elements. There could be some um, relating to, I want to say medical and like chemistry kind of thing, but not so much in the fantasy sense. So that's the author I want to recommend. If you love MXTX, if you love The Untamed, The Grandmaster, The Heaven's Official Blessing, The scum master all of those i think you will really enjoy our meat bun our vegetarian meat buns work so that is that's it for today if you have any sort of genre that you want to read more about within the chinese dame world um anything like that i would um, love to hear from you also just like an added bonus there's this tv show going on called the light lighter and princess which is based off a novel um that i've read it's not BL, it's just a boy-girl romance, but I've loved that book. If you can find Chinese, like Ch if you can read Chinese, read the original Chinese, if you can find an English version, highly, highly recommend. And the TV show, it's so well adapted. The cast is fantastic, super suited, perfectly suited for those characters that I have read and imagined. So I want to recommend this, just add an added bonus. So thank you so much for staying here and staying um, with me today. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content and I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye.